Hi all the signs of the zodiac, I'm Pam and welcome to your mid-month psychic tarot update for April 2016. This month, in the mid-month, I've pulled two cards for each sign using the Robin Wood tarot deck. Please remember these are general readings and to get a reading with details pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. Also, please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. If you would like to get the videos I've recorded for New Beginnings three card tarot spread for each sign of the zodiac, you can access those for download and purchase by clicking on the link below in the show more section beneath this video. Or you can go to my website, www.theluckymermaid.com, click on videos on tab on my menu and go to page five. And there you will see the links for each sign. You just click on your link for the New Beginnings three card tarot spread and it will take you to those videos on Vimeo that you can access them there. So I want to thank you so much for that. Thank you for the positive feedback and all your kind comments and emails to me about those videos on Vimeo. I truly appreciate it and appreciate your purchases. All that being said, now on to your readings. The first sign that I have coming up here is Aries. Aries, the first card you have that showed up is the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords to me is a card that symbolizes moving. This would indicate moving to a new home, a new residence, possibly having to relocate to do with work. This could be moving towards something positive. Uh, it can also indicate long distance travel. I do feel you're getting a lot of communications coming to you. And I'm hearing stellar communication, so it's positive uh, in some way. I do feel that uh, some of you reached some kind of boiling point where too many things boiled to the surface and like you had to move on. I do hear you're going to be seeking new frontiers. And again, they say now you're feeling ready or motivated about moving on. Some of you feel like, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm getting, quitting, leaving. So for some of you, maybe your job has just gotten too much and you don't want to do it anymore and you're quitting or leaving. Or a relationship or living situation has gotten to be too tenuous or too much for you. And now you're, because uh, I'm hearing, feeling like you don't want to do it anymore and moving on, leaving. You're leaving something it just depends on which Aries you are as to what you're going to be leaving. I do feel that you have a really good idea. And some of you have, again, it comes up, stellar communication. So either you're going to be receiving communication from your spirit guides. That is really awesome. Or you're going to be receiving communications from someone uh, that's really great for you. So just now in this mid-month of April, it's coming up, moving on and Great communication. So the second card you have that showed up here is the world. And the world is a card to me that symbolizes having control, gaining control, planets in the heavens, spirit guides around you, helping you to have more control. I feel uh, some of you are really getting ready to take a big leap of faith and are going to be immersing yourself in something. This could be a new job, a new relationship, or a new project. I do feel like you have the ball in your court now, and I feel some of you really developing your skills and talents. You're really working on something. 
I see you taking a big leap of faith and you're like, this is it. I'm taking a big leap of faith. I'm showing people what I can do or who I am. You're demonstrating yourself in some form that's like a leap of faith. Maybe you were like not letting people see your true self or or you now have some opportunity that is risky coming up for you like a risk but you're going to take a leap of faith and show people who you are and what you can do i do feel there's a new romance budding for some of you aries in the offing they're saying so to me that's not necessarily going to be occurring in this mid month of april but it's like very close maybe some of you will have it this month uh, in the middle of the month, but I feel it's soon if it's not this month, but between now and June, end of June. I do feel some of you are doing some things that are ego-based, not negative. I don't mean that ego is not a negative thing. A lot of people think it is, but it's not. Uh, about like changing something about your appearance, maybe highlighting your hair or cutting it or doing a different style or you know, like doing something different physically to yourself that's like to give you a boost, a boost to your ego, a boost to your persona and how people can see you. So I hope those messages helped you Aries. Now on to Taurus. And the first card you have that shows up here today Taurus is the world. I'm going to tell you this world wanted to show up. I shuffled many many times between all the different cards cleared the cards and incense and this world kept showing up so here you go you got it too the world as i said is gaining control planets in the heavens spirit guides around you helping to give you control i feel some of you tauruses are leaving some kind of project and starting another ending something starting something new comes up i feel some of you launching some kind of new business or a new business project or launching a new product comes up some of you may be getting invited to attend attend a party or a gathering that is actually kind of like in your honor which may sound odd for some of you may be like what but it could be a surprise party um, it, it could be that because wow your birthday would be at the end of April so it could be that and uh, or they're just doing it early if your birthday's in May uh, but it could be a, a party like for he's a jolly good fellow, that kind of party. Like maybe you have some success and somebody's throwing you a party based on success. I feel if you're involved in any court cases, some of you are going to be entering a plea bargain or some kind of deal. And I actually feel like you're going to, it's going to get accepted. Like they're going to agree to it. Um, so like if you're involved in any lawsuits or settlements or plea bargaining or dealing for something i get it's going to go through it will be accepted any of you that have had any skin issues that could have to do with sun damage skin cancer sun damage anything like that i feel some of you going to see a dermatologist if it's not for sun damage it could just be maybe you're having rashes or you know, some kind of uh, kicking up of irritation with your skin, because I do feel some of you Tauruses will be visiting a dermatologist. A secret that's been kept from you is going to finally pop out of somebody's mouth, or your secret is going to pop out of your mouth. But I really feel it's something you're going to be hearing. So uh, just know that. Be prepared. Some uh, I don't know how you're going to feel about it. Um, and you might not be happy about the secret that pops out because I get like either angry or anxious is the feeling once that comes out. So on to the next card, Taurus, you have Wheel of Fortune. So see, you wanted to have two uh, round circular cards. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune to me is the card of karmic wheels of fate and good fortune turning in your favor something that you tried to apply for or get going that was uh, denied before now gets accepted so if you tried to like submit a book for publication and it got turned down now it's going to get accepted if you wrote a screenplay uh, and they, it got rejected before now it's going to get accepted or if you applied for a loan or a grant that kind of thing any kind of applications 
or jobs, something you applied for that you got turned down or rejected before now is going to be accepted. That's what's coming up with Wheel of Fortune. I feel somebody's being true to their word and is going to be giving you something they promised you. This could be money. This could be something like an engagement ring. If somebody said, we're going to get married, I promise we're going to get engaged. It could be that. Um, or it could be something that they borrowed from you and they promised you that they were going to return it. It could also be that. And I feel that if you had any lingering doubts about someone, those doubts are now getting cleared up. So that's good. Your Any doubts you had are getting cleared up. So I hope those messages helped you, Taurus. Now on to Gemini. The first card you have here, Gemini, is the Eight of Rods. And I, uh, Eight of Rods to me is a card that would symbolize news coming to you quickly, or it could be change or travel. I feel that you're going to be getting some good news. Uh, and I also hear some things are going to start happening very fast. All of a sudden, I feel like you get this like burst of activity and events and things happening. I see you working out details with somebody and going over fine print. Now, this could be like, uh, you know, business deals, uh, sales deals uh, of any kind. I get like you working out the details, looking over the fine print. To me, it looks like it could be documents or uh, contracts of some sort. I also feel that you're going to be receiving a lot of insights and I get information coming to you. So I feel like you're going to be getting supplied information that you wanted. If you were waiting to find out details or uh, different pieces of information that were going to be necessary for you, I'm getting that you're going to start getting that. And I don't feel like it's just about one thing. I get it on multiple things. I get uh, creating new self-awareness or gaining new self-awareness. Some of you may start to look at self-help videos uh, or, you know, DVDs or even going to like counseling, seeing a counselor or a therapist. Um, that also comes up here, that, those possibilities. So the next card you have here, Gemini, is an awesome card. You've got the star, and the star is a card to me that symbolizes, this is spiritual blessings. This is the divine source hearing your wishes and prayers of things that you've wanted, and you getting spiritual blessings. I feel there's going to be an easing up of your finances, an easement of finances, and paying off any debts and bills. So maybe you're getting money in some way because I see you being like, okay, I'm clearing away this debt, that debt, the other debt I get, and you know, an easing up of any financial constraints. Some of you are going to be receiving accolades from your job or and or a promotion. Because I get both things. So, so people are going to be like, woohoo, great job, yay, we're promoting you and possibly getting a raise from that if you get promoted. So maybe that's why you have an easing up of your finances and are able to pay uh, some of your debts off, Gemini. I feel that some of you Geminis are going to be getting ready to travel, getting ready to travel and see the world or see some sights. I'm seeing you go, go you know what? I got things to do. I want to get going. I want to travel. I want to see the world. You know, I'm not getting any younger. Time's ticking. Uh, all I do is this or that. I need some, like, you know, enrichment, enlightenment. I'm seeing countryside that looks to me like Italy, but it could be any place that would look beautiful like that. So, but I'm getting that sense. Uh, I feel like it's in Europe, but. You know, there's many beautiful places in the world, so I don't want to just say it's only Italy, but it's what I feel when I look at it. Uh, there's some rustic parts of this where you're looking at, I feel like I'm looking at olive groves or something. And I feel that you're going to like really connect with people that you meet in your travels and you may foster friendships with these people. Maybe you're going to hook up with somebody and 
start a relationship. That's possible. But I see you meeting interesting people on your travels and fostering friendships and things. Uh, like, at least, even if you don't keep the friendships after the travels, you're going to have an awesome time with people you're going to meet. So that's what comes up for you, Gemini. I hope that was of help to you. I really do. Please stay tuned for the May readings because they are longer. So now on to the sign of Cancer. Okay, Cancer, you had a little unusual situation. When I shuffled the cards and cut the deck for you, as I said, I shuffle many, many times and clear the cards through incense, and you got the Hierophant and the World, but then the Chariot kind of flew out. So I didn't know whether to pick the Chariot or the World. So I, I don't know what to do here. So I'm going to give it a go and see what how it works. But the first card you have is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is a card to me that symbolizes God showing up to give you blessings. It could also be giving you a warning, like be cautious, and it could also indicate higher education and higher learning. I feel that some of you are receiving, you're also getting receiving a promotion, I feel, kind of like how Gemini did. I feel any of you cancers that have been out of work or looking for work or a job change, I do feel like a dream come true job is going to start or come through for you. I feel there needs to be a person in charge to oversee something and to make sure something gets done. And I feel that you may end up being the person to do that. I also feel that um, it's best not to listen to any gossip that's circulating around because I feel that there's some uh, untruths in whatever you're hearing. So be cautious of listening to gossip, whether it be through work-related gossip or friends and family members gossip. I would be cautious about listening to it because I feel like there's something that's going to mislead you about it. Some of you may be in a working situation where you have a new boss or a new leader if you work for someone else. You may be feel like uh, judgment comes down hard and you're caught in the crosshairs of some firing squad. Like, I don't know that it's directed at you, but I feel like there might be some things going on like this fraction against this fraction. And you may feel like kind of like the monkey in the middle, a little bit torn. So uh, that's also coming up through this card. So now here you got the world and the chariot. I don't know what to say here, but you got them both. And the world is gaining control and, uh, you know, planets in the heavens, spirit guides around you help and give you more control. And the chariot is a card to me that symbolizes having to make a decision or a choice between two things. It can also indicate change and it can also at times indicate travel. So I'm going to read them together. I feel some of you are going to hit like what they say, the gravy train, easy street. So some changes that are, go are going to occur for you are going to give you that feeling. I feel something is finally going to happen, something that you've been waiting for, because I hear, hooray, finally, it happened. So if you wanted a job, you're getting the new job. If you wanted a promotion, you're getting a new promotion. Uh, whatever it is, if you were waiting for love, it could possibly be love. I feel that you need to pace yourself. Go easy on yourself. Try not to overwork yourself, stress yourself out, or work too hard. I feel that you may feel like the bell of the ball, hike, because I feel that some of you may attend some kind of gathering. This could be workplace. I'm not sure whether it's at work or if this is just friends and family, uh, where I feel you're going to be getting a lot of compliments and like people giving you praise and making you feel like, oh, I feel happy. I feel special. Um, and I get this feeling like you're finally going to be able to relax and ease up. There's going to be some easing up of some tension that you have floating around on you. And I feel that it's been floating around you for a while because you've been anxiety ridden or anxious or waiting for something. So I feel this is why you're going to feel good now because some things are going to start to change evolve but especially that things you've been waiting for cancer so i certainly hope that helped you 
Now on to the sign of Leo. And the first card I got here for you today, Leo, is the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords is a card that symbolizes uh, feeling grieving or the loss of a relationship that's ended. You could be uh, tired and exhausted, uh, having headaches. You could also be not feeling well in other ways, or you could be worrying over somebody else not feeling well. I feel like you need a change of scenery and some fresh air. I feel like some of you may feel too confined, like you've been too confined and there's too much pain, trauma, or drama going on and you need some relief from it. Something going on in your life. I feel like you're also putting too much pressure on yourself and I feel it's kind of eating you up inside or eating you up in some way because I'm also hearing you say, I don't have enough time to do this. I don't have enough time to do that. I'm also picking up that energy for you. And I feel that you're kind of like, you know what? I have all these problems that circled around in my head and I dissected them and tackled them one at a time. But it's like every time you dissect one or complete one, it seems like then there's either a whole new batch or another one that just keeps cropping up. So I feel like you've gone through some, uh, like, too much. And I feel it's actually causing you some physical distress or has been causing you physical distress. I also feel that there, for some of you, there's been too much drama going on in your family or created in your family. And I feel some people saying, well, I'm not talking to that one. Well, I'm not talking to that one. And I feel like this distress and all that kind of stuff, to me, it feels family related for many of you Leos. So the next card you have here of the two cards, you have the King of Wands, which could be you, Leo, because this would symbolize a fire sign male, could be a female, it's a general reading. That would either be a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. That could be their sun sign, their rising sign, or their moon sign. I feel like you're really piloting your way out of some crap that's been going on. I'm getting piloting out of it and saying, I'm being done with that and I don't want to deal with it. That's the feeling I'm getting. You're like, I'm out of here. Um, getting away from some of that nonsense. You may start seeing a therapist or some kind of doctor to give you some kind of medication. The medication could be possibly for anxiety, could also maybe be for migraines or for headaches, but I get you, some of you will be doing that or turning towards natural, uh, you know, herbal or homeopathic remedies to ease the, you know, anxiety, depression. It feels like anxiety, anxiety to me. Um, but sometimes anxiety and depression are closely related. I see some of you ordering some kind of test results. Uh, to have done. Now, again, this could be blood work just to check iron levels or to see maybe you're having chronic fatigue syndrome and you're, you know, you need some kind of blood work just to see what your levels are. I'm, I'm getting test results also. If you're divorced or I just hear new arrangements made with family members involving scheduling, like maybe time, time to see the kids or like scheduling time and it's family related because I feel some of those issues need to be hammered out or worked out or scheduled and mapped out. That could be also what's causing drama, headaches and all the situation of like this one's not talking to this one or that one. They could all be mixed up but uh, that's why the King of Wands was here for you, Leo. So I certainly hope you feel better soon. Get that uh, medication or, uh, you know, natural remedies, something to ease your discomfort. You know, you don't need to have burdens of people thrust upon you and then you not feel well. So I hope that reading helped you and please stay tuned for the month of May at the beginning of the month for the longer reading. Uh, this is just the mid-month update. So I hope that helped you, Leo. Now on to Virgo. And the first card you have that showed up here 
Virgo is the high priestess and the high priestess is a card to me that would symbolize your highest spirit guide watching over you and showing up here in the cards to give you a message or it could also be something secret or is kept hidden is either coming out or just letting you know there is something secret or kept hidden. I feel that some of you are reworking yourselves internally and investing yourselves in you and creating some inner magic. If you're a singer, I feel that you'll be writing some new songs and uh, or a musician and playing some new music that also is circling around this card. I feel some of you Virgos are going to are saying there's a real proper way of doing things and I am going to be teaching and training others. So I'm hearing that as well. I also feel some of you Virgos are going to be getting some information from a psychic or a clairvoyant or a medium that you see somewhere in person getting a private reading from somewhere uh, that's going to be giving you good news, good insights and good information also comes up here. I feel at long last you found a place that you really feel is at home and settled like you're settled into. So if you recently moved or if you've had some changes in your locale, either work uh, location or home, I feel wherever there is any way you could settle in, I feel that that's happening. You, you're having a sense of settling in. I do feel some of you are going to also be learning a new craft or a new skill and making some money from that. So you could be incorporating it into what you're already doing, or it could just be a whole nother sideline for you. But I do get something you're going to be learning. You're going to be making some money from uh, Virgo. So the next card you have here is the chariot. And the chariot is a card to me that symbolizes having to make a decision or a choice between two things. This card could also indicate travel. Um, and sometimes it can bring in change. I feel that many of you Virgos are going to be receiving high marks and kind remarks, both. So if you're in any kind of training or education program, school or like anything you're just interested in or studying or taking any classes in, I hear you're going to receive high marks. But I also get high remarks as well, like positive feedback coming to you. I see you patching up something with someone that made you feel like you were an old, like an enemy with them, like you became enemies or you were friends before and then it broke apart. I do feel that some of you Virgos are going to be patching things up with this person. Some of you are going to be receiving a commentary and writing some kind of dissertation or some presentation speech of some sort that you're going to deliver to the public. This could be at a graduation commencement speech. It could be at a college just giving some kind of lecture or teaching some kind of class. Or it could even be like, you know, in your job, maybe you have to make some kind of presentation in front of a, a large, it's in front of a large group of people, I feel for many of you. This comes up for some of you Virgos. I also feel that some of you Virgos are going to be receiving a gift of cash coming to you. This could come in a form of a deal that finally comes through and then is paying you. Um, it could also be coming through banking, loan, or financing in some way coming through for you. But I do feel some of you receiving cash, it comes up for you Virgos. It just depends on which Virgo you are how this money is actually going to come to you. Such is the nature of general readings. So I hope those messages helped you, Virgo. I really hope they did. Please stay tuned for May readings. They are longer, and so we'll see what comes out in the beginning of May. So now on to the sign of Libra. And the first card you have here today, Libra, for the mid-month is the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is a card to me that symbolizes God showing up to give you blessings or a warning, or it could be about higher education and higher learning. I feel that a lot of things have happened over the course of the past six, seven to eight months 
that have brought you to a point where you're reassessing and reevaluating your situation. I also hear you need some more concrete facts and figures. So some of you may be consulting with an accountant, with a lawyer, with uh, an investigator, uh, like it could even be like somebody that's investigating like a legal uh, counsel that does the forensic uh, investigations into people's finances. I just getting getting you need uh, like additional information about facts and figures. I feel that you may receive some news coming to you either through a fax, an email, a letter. Uh, I don't feel like it's through the phone. To me, it's either it's like printed word, a telegram. I don't even know if they send them anymore. Um, I and I feel it's going to be troubling news, but I get that it's actually going to turn out to be okay. So whatever news you receive, that I see you going, oh no, because I see that dread going in you. My guides are telling me it's going to end up working out to be okay. You may have had some bitter disappointments where people have had some judgments that have come down against you in the past. Uh, and I feel this has made you angry at them, but in some ways I feel it's also made you a little angry with yourself too. It's like a mixture. I do feel that you've done a lot of work on putting the past behind you and working on moving forward. That comes up here too. I do feel that some of you have looked into property about reinvesting some money through selling a property. Uh, it's either purchasing real estate, uh, looking into purchasing real estate, or into selling some and letting them go. So the next card you have that shows up here, Libra, in this reading today is the Hermit. And the Hermit is a card that symbolizes spiritual protection and spiritual blessings and spiritual guidance. I do get some new revelations and some new things that will be reveal, revealed to you that have not been revealed to you before. I do see some of you getting some patching things up and some things being resolved with some family members. <clears throat> but I do see you having some curiosity about, well, what really went on before? I'm seeing you have some question in your mind about, even though I feel that you're patching things up here, like wondering, well, how long did that go on? Or what, like it, it's patched up, but yet it drives up some kind of question in you where you're like reviewing it in your mind, like, Hmm, like you're still uh, mulling it over. Even if the words have been patched up between you, I feel you're still pondering like how much element of truth is here or how long did this go on. Uh, that's coming up. I do get some of you opening up some kind of new policy. This could be an insurance policy. Uh, but I also am hearing a loan. So some of you may be applying for a loan or uh, like taking out a new policy of some sort. It could be an auto policy, an insurance policy, a health insurance policy, a life insurance policy. I don't know what other policies you could take out. I guess there's other things I'm not thinking of. But um, And if this is a drain to your finances, you may be finding a way to trim it down or alter it. You may be changing uh, policies because you need to streamline your funds or you feel like it's some of it's unnecessary. So I hope those readings, uh, those messages helped you, Libra. Now on to Scorpio. And the first card you have that shows up here, Scorpio, is the Four of Wands. And the Four of Wands to me symbolizes a wedding, attending a wedding. Uh, this is a card that could mean a marriage, you're getting married, you're attending a, a wedding, you're throwing a wedding. It could also be success coming to you in springtime. I do hear that you're really ready to kick up your heels and dance and have a good time and, you know, live it up, you know, enjoy your life, you know, get out there, socialize, party, that kind of energy is around this card. And I do feel that some of you Scorpios are going to be like um, 
hanging out, partying with, socializing with people that can also help advance your career for some of you. Some of you, I feel like, you know, you're hanging out with the right people. You're rubbing elbows with people that have some ability to give you some benefits, help you in some way. I feel that if you had anything that was taken away from you, it's going to be restored. If any of you got in any kind of uh, past altercations with the law due to drinking and driving and your license got taken away from you, I feel like your license is going to be given back to you. Or anything else where things were taken away from you, I feel they get restored. So if you were at a job and they took benefits away from you or a vacation time away, I feel they're going to be giving it back to you. Or if you were with a partner and they took things away from you, I feel after like a divorce, a separation or whatever, they're going to end up giving some of it back to you. So some things being restored and coming back to you come up here. I do feel that you're going to be revealing yourself to someone and also finalizing some deals. So uh, for any of you just meeting someone and you're on the dating scene or you've been like getting involved with someone, I feel that you're going to be revealing things about yourself to them, uh, like showing them who you really are. It comes up here as well. Now, the next card you have here is Eight of Cups, and Eight of Cups is a card that symbolizes turning away from what is not working for you anymore, emotionally speaking. So if you look at the two cards together, like if you just want to read cards and not listen to spirit guides or intuitively read them, to me this looks like you have a wedding, a marriage that you're a marriage you're walking away from. It could be that, but the guides didn't really say that. In uh, I feel honestly, I feel many of you Scorpios have already done that. Um, but it could mean that, but that, that's not what they talked about through the first card. Anything that was created as a stumbling block for you, you're going to overcome it and get past it, especially if it was a stumbling block that was created for you at work or within family situations, but it comes up as work first. I also feel that if you were at work that they, they dumped too many things on you that you cannot, could not complete, like it was just too overwhelming, I feel that you're going to be walking away from them. Now, that may be like, well, if I'm at work, how can I walk away from them? I don't know what to tell you. I just get, like, if they've had put on too many, uh, too many burdens on you or too much uh, tasks and too many things to do, uh, burdens, I feel that you're going to walk away from them. For some of you, I do feel that in a relationship sense, you may be walking away from somebody and spending some time alone by yourself for a little while. That to me doesn't really feel so much like a marriage, although you could be getting divorced, getting separated and leaving a marriage. This feels more to me like, you know, if you were dating somebody that wasn't really uh, working out or you were just feeling overwhelmed by them in some reason, for some reason, I feel you may say, you know what, we have to stop seeing each other for a little while. I don't know whether it'll be permanent or not, but I definitely get you needing some time and space to be by yourself for a little while. So I hope those messages helped you, Scorpio. Now on to Sagittarius. And the first card you have of the two is the High Priestess which either means to me your highest spirit guide showing up to give you messages, or it could be something has been kept hidden or secret. I do hear that you are going uh, like uh, scrubbing out like the, the fine details, like fine details in print. I feel that you're coming into a time of, of financial abundance, and I do feel this feeling of like winning, like finally tables are turning in my favor. Finally, I'm winning at something uh, after a dry spell of feeling stuck or frustrated or like things weren't spinning forward. I, I get High Priestess is bringing it in that you're going to start making some headway, financial headway or gain here. And I do feel that you're getting a great deal of abundance of love bestowed upon you from the spirit world. So I feel that those of you that have, this is coming up as a female 
To me, it would either be a mother, a grandmother, could be an aunt or a sister, somebody that is female. I, but I'm hearing that they're, it's not just one person, but the female is talking through the high priestess. And I'm getting bestowing a lot of love and blessings on you. Some of you may be rewriting some manual on how to do things. I'm getting like re restructuring something, rewriting something, reworking something. And it could be it could be just for your own knowledge and use, but I feel you may be rewriting and reworking something that's going to be useful and helpful to others. Could even be instructional. I do feel many of you Sagittarians have this feeling like you've been really put through the mill or the ringer, especially in the past four to five months. Could even be going back four to five years for some of you, but the number four to four to five is coming up here. <clears throat> so the next card you have here, Sagittarius, for this mid-month reading is the Ace of Rods. <clears throat> And the Ace of Rods is a card to me that symbolizes new beginnings. This could be new job, new business, new enterprise. It could be an, receiving an inheritance, could be new love relationship. Any kind of new beginnings comes up here with the Ace of Rods. I feel some of you Sagittarians are going to get invited to s attend some kind of spiritual gathering. This could be like a drum making ceremony or a drumming ceremony. Could have to do with Native American, uh, you know, practices or spiritual, uh, like a drum circle or meditation circle or just some gathering that's spiritual in nature. Could be, it could be connected to do with church or religion in some way. Doesn't just have to be spiritual. Could be spiritual and religious. You really need to put your best foot forward now. Make sure. All the I's are dotted and T's are crossed. Your hair is done just right. You're sparkling and shining. Your shoes are shine. Your clothes look good. You have to look polished and have uh, and be putting your best foot forward in anything you're you're doing, job related or if you are you know on the going out and meeting new people and dating scene or if you're job hunting <clears throat> or if you're in sales, whatever it is. You have to be, you have to like grab the tail of the tiger is what I feel like. Ride that train. It's now time. Like you have to seize the day, as they say. Seize the moment. Seize what's going on here. And be putting yourself in a position of making yourself seen, recognized, known, uh, heard, heard for what you know how to do or your expertise and and your bis or and or business acumen, whatever it is, you have to be putting your best foot forward right now, Sagittarius. It's going to be a benefit to you. So I hope that was of help to you. Now on to Capricorn, and the first card that you have that shows up here today, Capricorn, you have the Queen of Pentacles. Now this could be you because the Queen of Pentacles is an uh, Earth sign female, or it could be a male. This is a general reading. Um, and this could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. I feel like everything you're doing is paying off. Uh, like anything studious, education-wise, anything you're putting your efforts, energies into, whatever it is, I get it's paying off for you now. I feel some of you, if you're working Capricorn, are getting involved in group dynamics at work. And, and starting to work in a team or a group. But also conversely, I feel some of you, uh, I'm sorry, did I say Taurus? I meant Capricorn. I know you guys jump all over it when I say the wrong sign. Please don't. Uh, I'm saying, I mean Capricorn. And I feel conversely, some of you Capricorns are going to be working at home. So I feel like you're either working at a team in a group at work or there's some of you that are going to be now working from home. That's what comes up here. I do feel that there's a big increase and in an abundance of flow of money coming into your life. I feel prosperity very strongly around you. If you're a uh, Capricorn that has gone through a little bit of a phase where you feel like you're eating everything in sight, could be nervous eating or emotional eating. 
Uh, or it just could be because the change of a season sometimes can drive up hunger or maybe you're exercising more. I'm like, <laughs> you know, you got to slow it down. So if you feel like, oh my God, I got to eat this and I'm eating that and that's good and I want that, like curb that eating. It's coming up here. You may have somebody that you've been connected to or involved with that has colon cancer or some kind of problem with their that area of their body that there's been a turn of events. So either they're getting better or they're not getting better. I, I don't know which turn of events it is. I just get to those of you Capricorns that know somebody that are having that kind of problem with colon cancer or with their colon or, or also anyone that's got problems with their pancreas. I feel that if you're going to hear that they took some kind of turn one direction or another, that's also coming up here through this card. So the next card you have here is the King of Wands and the King of Wands is a card that symbolizes a fire sign male or female because it is a general reading. Uh, but this King of Wands would either be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius, Sun sign, Rising sign, or that could be their Moon sign. Some of you have some kind of relationship bond forming with this King of Wands, or you're already, either you're forming one, it's coming, or you're already in one that's been formed, because I get forming a relationship with the King of Wands. Some of you want to keep this relationship quiet and secret. You don't want other people to know about it for some reason. For some of you, maybe it's a work environment relationship and you don't want coworkers to know because, you know, maybe it would cause problems at work or you could get fired or there could be problems. So um, I also get a changing of the guard. Somebody's leaving. So I feel somewhere... I don't feel that was a relationship that was leaving. I feel in a workplace, some of you have the King of Wands possibly leaving. And the King of Wands could be somebody you're dating or in a relationship with, or they could be like a boss or, you know, somebody in charge. But some King of Wands is leaving some situation that you're connected to. I feel if this is love, this is actually a harmonious relationship or will be a harmonious relationship. And I feel that the two of you are actually meant to be together. So, uh, or it would be harmonious and would be a good match for the two of you together. So Capricorn, I hope those messages helped you. Please stay tuned for the beginning of May to see the monthly Psychic Tower reading because that's going to be a lot longer than this update. So now on to the sign of Aquarius. And the first card you have that shows up here, Aquarius, is the Four of Wands. Now this is a card that can symbolize a marriage. You could be getting married. You could be attending a wedding. Or you could be throwing a wedding for somebody else. This could just be talking about your marriage. I, I hear you have to do some grounding and stabilizing of yourself and your energy. Don't distort your images of reality. I do feel for some of you this is possibly talking about something that's coming in for you that could be love or some kind of opportunity, but they're saying be grounded and don't distort your vision of reality. I do feel some of you being together with someone new brings a lot of joy and oomph to what's happening in your life. And I do feel that some of you will be meeting someone new or getting serious about someone or possibly even formalizing a relationship with someone in the spring or summertime. And I feel that everything happens in divine timing and I feel that it may, things may have seemed slow to you, but if this situation was occurring earlier, uh, you would have felt like overwhelmed, like too many things were happening to you all at once. So I hear that for some reason, like divine timing was in order here. I do also feel Aquarians have learned a lot. I feel like they've learned about what to say, what not to say, when to speak up, when to keep their mouth shut. That all circles around 
this Four of Rods. So the next card you have here, Aquarius, is the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands to me is a fire sign male or female because it's a general reading. And this would be a Leo, <clears throat> a Sagittarius, or an Aries, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. This person comes in with a lot of drive, vim, vigor, um, action kind of person, a lot to say, a lot to do, a lot to say, a lot to do. Um, and I feel there are some new situations that are going to arise that are going to make the two of you come together. So if you haven't met them yet, there's some new circumstance that's going to happen in your life that you meet and it comes together, you meet together, or if you're already coupled with this Knight of Wands, some situation is going to strengthen and fortify the relationship and build it up and make it stronger, one or the other here, because some of you may not have met this Knight of Wands yet, and some of you may have already started or are in the relationship with the Knight of Wands. There's a lot of sex appeal around this person, a lot of vim, vigor, sex appeal, energy, like I'm getting all that kind of uh, talk about them. Some of you are going to become partners with them. Now, partners could be in marriage or romance because you had the four of wands here. But for some of you, it could also be partners like in a business venture, in a business project, in something that you're going to work on and do together. So some of you, this is not necessarily going to be love or it will be both a relationship that's in romance and also a working relationship. It could actually be both. I feel like if you have not met this Knight of Wands yet, I feel very likely many of you Aquarians will meet this person in the month of July. So I hope those messages helped you. Please stay tuned, Aquarius, for the May Psychic Tower reading because it's longer. So the next sign I have here to look into is Pisces. And the first card you have here is the Eight of Wands, which either means news coming to you swiftly, change happening, or travel. I do hear that some of you Pisces are going to be joining together with somebody as like a traveling companion, and I get that you are going to be doing some kind of traveling. I do feel like some things are going to take off for you like a rocket, and I do feel that you're going to feel like, Finally, things now I'm riding high. Things are going good now. Like you have finally getting somewhere with some things that you wanted to see happen in your life. I feel some of you are going to be talking to people, screening people, interviewing people. You could be the one getting talked to, screened and interviewed, but actually it comes up more like you're the one doing it to, uh, to others. I feel that you're going to get treated like the royal treatment. You're going to go somewhere and you're going to get treated like royalty and get the royal treatment. I see you, Kate, taking a tour, somebody showing you around. Uh, some of you may be going to like the governor's mansion, the White House. I mean, some, you know, spectacular place that you're like getting shown around. I, but I do get wherever it is, whatever this place is, I feel it's quite large, quite impressive and you're feeling like you're getting the royal treatment. Some of you are going to be spearheading some kind of project or plan and could be writing something or dealing with or doing something in conjunction or connected to the government, some of you. But regardless, I feel you leading something, heading something, being in charge of something comes up here. I feel like uh, some of you Pisces are worrying too much and like maybe worrying about every little thing or picking every little thing apart. And I feel like you need to have some, you know, like to, to relax. I feel like it's coming, like you're going to relax anyway, because I see some things making you feel like either the ball's in your court or you've got some things moving along. Be on your best behavior, though, Pisces, because I feel like it's critical. Like, I feel that there's people watching you, uh, watching how you're presenting yourself, watching your behavior. or So in any situation where you feel like, hmm, maybe I need to be on my best behavior, I would say 
absolutely be on your best behavior because you're be, you know even if you're like say if you're getting married or you're meeting you know your your partner's parents for the first time or family members they're going to be looking at you and you need to be on your best behavior it could be at a new job opportunity you got to be on your best behavior you could be at an interview uh anything like just know there's people watching you and be on your best behavior so the second card you have here pisces is the five of rods and the five of rods is a card of internal struggle it could also be a card of struggling with family members or having struggles with co-workers I feel that you're reworking things. You're changing things. You're reworking things. You could be reworking your resume. You could be re redoing or redesigning your home or, you know, something like a website could be getting reorganized, changing. I'm getting you're changing something and reorganizing and restructuring something. I hear who wants to listen to me? I've got this power, I've got the power, who wants to listen to me because now I'm the boss. I really feel some of you uh, getting, an, uh, I don't know, I guess I want to say a promotion, it seems like, or you're getting a position where you're in charge, you're the leader, you know, you have to, uh, like, <laughs> but I'm seeing you go, who wants to listen to me? Well, you better listen to me because I'm holding the power, so uh, I get that for some of you Pisces. Any complications that have gone on around you get ironed out or worked out. If there's been any job details or complications, if there's been any family internal struggles with family complications, uh, any kind of complications you found yourself in recently, I get they get ironed out. There's a new partnership alliance forming or group partnerships ships or teams forming so you could be like heading up like a new team or a new division in your company or place of business uh, that also could come up here as well because I'm getting uh, partnerships and alliances forming to do with groups or teams that also comes up I do feel you might be having a little bit of internal struggle about some of this because I do feel those Pisces that are going to be put in the forefront of everything going on I feel like you're like not that you're not confident and you don't know what you're doing I don't know that some of you are real comfortable with the spotlight some of you may be but some of you may not be because I do get a little bit of an internal struggle about this. Like, oh my God, they're looking at me. They're listening to me. They're paying attention to me. Even though maybe it's what you wanted or hoped for, it's kind of freaking you out a little bit. And so you may be like a little bit mixed up inside over it. But I feel that things are going to work out well for you, Pisces. Phew, that's good news because I know you guys were upset about your uh, monthly uh, reading for April. So... Looks like things are improving here in the mid-month, so thank goodness for that. Well, I certainly hope this reading helped all of you, all of the signs, and I certainly hope they made sense. I want to thank you so much for liking, sharing, and watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do appreciate that. Please be sure to subscribe. That way you will get notified when I post my monthly psychic tarot readings and my mid-month psychic tarot updates if you would like to get the new beginnings three card tarot reading for each sign of the zodiac where i'm looking into new beginnings for each sign please click on the link below in the show more section beneath this video and it will take you to my vimeo video on-demand page for the New Beginnings three-card tarot readings for each sign of the zodiac. You can also access those videos by going to my website www.theluckymermaid.com, clicking on the videos tab on my menu and going to page five and there you will see under the heading of New Beginnings three-card tarot reading You'll see your signs listed there. Just click on your sign and it will take you to the Vimeo video. So I truly appreciate that. Thank you so much for all your kind emails and kind comments and messages. 
uh, about liking the videos. I truly appreciate it and I'm glad you're finding them to be uh, accurate for what's going on for you and also that you've been finding them helpful. I do appreciate that. If you have any issues with any of the videos where you need any troubleshooting, please know that you need to contact support at vimeo.com. I do not have access to your personal account information, therefore I am unable to troubleshoot any issues for you. So if you just email them, they will straighten things out for you. So thank you so much for that. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the month of April, all the signs of the Zodiac, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace. Mm -hmm.